What I'm seeing, actually, you see, I mean, it's a combination of As an expert of in the, the various martial arts in China, what did you think of the fighting that you saw in the but movies? Martial art has a very, very deep meaning. You know, in the early years of our forefathers' time, uh, every Filipino is proud with their children. They were raising their children with the ambition that the children would be a leader of the Philippines by the next, next, next century. And we not, they nurtured us with love, with discipline, with strictness, with good manners and right conduct respect and love for the country. So, we were a very loving people with our neighbor. We have our neighbor, which is Malaysia, Indonesia, Singapore. Then you have uh, Vietnam, and then we have Korea, and then we have Japan. And of course, the farther uh, a little bit is China. As a matter of fact, uh, China has been very, very close to us because we are the source of their food production, uh, food production by money. We do the, the hard job, uh, they use their money and then they say, this is my agriculture. Uh, so, with that uh, endeavor and devotion by our forefathers uh, to have a beautiful garden with the beautiful plants, with beautiful vegetables, healthy. They are proud that the children are eating these vegetables. They think that these vegetables will make the, health, the, the brain healthy and the body healthy. And I was one of the kids that has uh, been privileged to have eggs in the morning, to have fish and to have vegetables and to have fruits. Uh, and uh, we walked to the school four kilometers away from our place. And the good thing is that, you know, before the war, uh, we were uh, uh, what do you call that? using the leaves of the tree as our paper and uh, uh, wooden, uh, sharpened wooden look at pencil is our pencil. That's how uh, very far forward with us in the lower, uh, lower level of uh, family. Now comes the war, then everything was distorted, everything was disarranged. Uh, we don't know, so we flee to the mountain. So my friends, those experiences that we have brought us a very good lesson that we were determined as young people to strive, to fight, and to win, regardless what happens to the country. In our mind, we have already what we call this the spirit of revenge. If anything happens to the family, we take every, every, every enemy down to the death. That's how we exercise our martial arts. Our martial arts was uh, a product uh, saying the enemy tortured our parents, tortured our grandparents, uh, and uh, murdered them. Uh, and at last, uh, we were experienced how the cruelty of our enemy. Spain was with us for 333 years, my friend. Uh, the use of the long sword, and the use of the Spanish language, the Spanish uh, dialect, changing our name to Spanish words, Spanish names. If my name is Leo, maybe I was known uh, uh, Francesco or uh, Victorio or something. Okay? So they change our name. So what is that? Uh, they use, they force our women to uh, have uh, uh, a relationship with the Spanish guys so that they could breed. Uh, a Filipino, Japanese, uh, I mean, uh, Spanish uh, tribes. So we were under torture, we were under pleasure, so we were also under all kinds of uh, uh, problems, right? So when our Filipino men saw that the, there were uh, practices of illegal uh, abuse of women, also, the men are being also tortured and killed. 
the Filipinos were studying what is the fighting system of the Spaniards. They call that the uh, sword Toledo. Uh, it is longer blade, sword Toledo. So there were several encounters with our Filipino men, and they were not able to win because our Filipino men are not fond of uh, have, you know, having a long sword. And we have the short sword. So our Filipino men started them day and night how to fight them. And then later on, they used what they call the formula procedure. They fought at night, they fought at day, and see what are the uh, techniques of the Spanish soldiers. And the Filipinos catches every unit, uh, examined uh, by different fighters. They contribute that this uh, sword is being used on a uh, uh, diagonal card and a thrust, and then the throw it very far from the top, from the back, and then hit the front. So they study, uh, seriously, how to combat uh, the Spanish swords. So later on, under the eight provinces that revolted against Spain, they designed a method they called the uh, close quarter combat. A close quarter combat is getting close to the enemy and uh, we are sure that we will annihilate the enemy and destroy the enemy. And it was a percentage of uh, results because elements of surprise uh, brings the Spanish soldiers uh, losing numbers. Every encounter. So the Spaniards were surprised. So the spread of these uh, practices was done by family first, family relatives, family brothers, family, and everything. And everything is kept in secret. Okay, so Spaniards were losing the revolution. Then what happened? Uh, Spain was engaged with America uh, in war in different islands. Then uh, Spaniards, knowing that they could not win in the Philippines, to save their faces throughout the world that they were not defeated in the Philippines, they sold us to the Americans in the Treaty of Paris. Uh, in 1898 at $3 per head, $3. They then sell the land. Usually if you come to a place, you sell, you buy the land, right? More, but they sold the Filipinos at $3 per head. There was no other deals in the world that could uh, uh, overcome or uh, be better than selling the, uh, the population. Why they are selling the population? Because, they could kill this population and they can still take over the country. But they've sold the land, the people still there, huh? and then they cannot own the land immediately. But Filipinos fought. All right, so Spain gave us, I gave the Philippines uh, the opportunity to win the war by declaring that we were sold by the Americans. Uh, to the, uh, uh, the Spaniards sold to the Americans at $3 per head. So there were still Filipinos there huh? around the Philippines and they were losing their faces. But the Americans came and the Americans said, well, we bought that island there in the Pacific, let's get based there. So, so the, the war department in Washington commissioned uh, Admiral Dewey to go to the Philippines. And they were running around where the Philippines is. It took them time to find the Philippines. But at last they were able to find the Philippines. And the first landing of the Philippines, uh, the Americans saw the Filipinos while waiting on the, at, the, at, the, at the bay, at the beach. And the Filipinos says, oh, and they look like Spaniards, but they speak different, uh, they are the different color. Uh, are they really Spaniards or uh, they are the same? Americans or what? So uh, they found out they are Americans. And then we have fought with the, with the Americans day and night, day and night. Now they were losing the, uh, the, the battle and they know that they cannot win in cross quarter. So what? They developed a 45 caliber. The first time in the world the 45 caliber was developed against the Filipinos because of the close quarter principle. So the, the Americans were losing also, so they give us Commonwealth. 
It's a Filipino that has joined together. Huh? Uh, we, the men, must be integrated to the American men of the soldiers so they will have privilege to live in the United States and they will have privilege to be the American soldier and then they will be given pension and then the Filipino says, oh yeah, ah, we are going to be Americans. Then of course then, huh? we were united with the Americans. 20,000 Americans and Filipinos were in the Philippines. 1941, Spain, I mean Japan, invaded to the Philippines suddenly after the bombing of Pearl Harbor. Right? Ah, they fled. 200,000 Japanese all over the Philippines. And the Filipinos said, what are they saying? They are Japanese. So we fought the Japanese from the time we landed. We fought with them and for what? So the Filipinos and Americans were fighting against the Filipinos. Huh? And there were some interesting incidents there that, you know, uh, they were surprised how Filipinos fought with the Americans, how we did the Japanese and elements of surprise. And in one platoon, sometimes only one squad is left. Because the element of surprise is huh? with the bolos and the, the, the Genonte, the Taliban, uh, half them, they can be demoralized. So in short, huh? the war was going on and going on. But was uh, the uh, Tokyo, the, J the Japanese in Tokyo, I gave a message to the Philippines, to the, to the Americans, the Philippines. Get out from the Philippines, ah! Huh? Support Tokyo, because that was the time, ah, huh? the bombing of uh, Hiroshima was there. So in short, Japan get out from the Philippines. They were met by General MacArthur in the Battle of the Philippines. They were defeated in the Philippines. So three major wars: Spain, America, and Japan fought in this island, seven thousand hundred islands. What did they use? Huh? Filipino fighting system, the blade culture. The one of which is the picket What I'm seeing actually is a combination As an expert of in the, the various martial arts in China, what did you think of the fighting that you saw in the but movies? Martial art has a very, very